Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Uh, today, this is probably going to be the last one that we do because unfortunately it's a little bit late. I got home a little late from the gym and I got to get the rest, man. I got to be up early, super early. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. So today we got Tyson, Siri, Tyson Fury versus um, Francis Ngannou. I believe that's how you say his last name. And I have not watched the fight. I did read a title that could potentially be clickbait, so I might know what the ending of the outcome is. This is only a two-minute video. I see another one that's 46 minutes. We might watch this one, see what we get from it, and then go into the 46-minute one and see what you know we can pick up from that. But, you know, um, those are pretty much the two videos that I was able to see. As always, I appreciate you guys clicking the video. Sorry, I don't got the other shades on. They're over there in the living room, and like I said, it's going to be a quick video. So... Yeah, thank you for showing support. I'm just trying to put something out there for you guys to not leave you guys hanging for the day. And that's that. I know it's been a couple of days. The weekend was super busy. Uh, celebrated my son's uh, birthday. And yeah, it's lit. Moving forward. Keep on celebrating. Thanksgiving coming up. Christmas coming up. New Year's coming up. So a lot more celebrations to come. And that's that, boys. Without further ado, let's get right into it. And distance with incredible Ooh. skill. And so Tyson off rip did say he was going to meet him right in the middle and just kind of go blow for blow. He's not running around and none of that. So let's get it. Comes out with a right hand. Oh, he catches him off guard. Francis Ngannou has just scored a knockdown. Ooh. Ngannou right here. Ooh. Fury throwing the off left hook rip. right hand. I ain't going to lie. That was fast. Hey. From a little bit that too close, them, from That's mid range. Nice. Look don't, at this pick. You can't left hook by Engano. Okay. Just standing his ground, sitting, biting down on his mouth. All right, but we've seen this before. Guy gets up and he gets angrier. You cannot taunt this man. He's sitting still, controlling, standing in his position to be able to land that shot right there. Florent Tyson Fury. Beautiful setup shot right there. He taunted him, though. That's not nice. See if he can draw him in here. Instead, it's the right hand behind the jab. Tries to come in with another as Francis Ngannou fires back. Fury missing with the right hand. Ngannou coming to the inside. Short right hand as Fury went backwards. And this is what Ronaldo saw in that last round. Ooh, oh, and elbow, elbow came in on the back end of that. Separation trying to drive down a right hand. There's a right hand from Fury. Francis standing his ground. Solid, steady, determined, and willing to punch as he turns Fury. Real. Here are the judges' scorecards. Ah, uh, that was it. Now we're gonna have to watch the other one and skim through it. Sorry. Champion against the hardest punch. A, a puncher backwards, and you put him on his heels. You blurry. take his it's power away from him. Beautiful right hand by Tyson Fury right there. As Ngannou tries to step down to the body, or stab down to the body with his jab. Francis told us the other day when we sat with him, he said the first minute, I need to get a sense of pace. I need to get a sense of range. Remember, he's opposite a man. There's Nagano coming in with the right hand, who has an 85-inch okay. reach, does Tyson Fury. Nagano's getting off to a quick start. He's already closing the distance already. Making that Sorry for the terrible quality, guys. I, I, you know, I didn't, you know, I, yeah. That ring small too. for Tyson Fury. This Ngannou had that. He's been sparring for four months. He has great respect for what Ngannou can bring here. Yes, Tess, he has natural reflexes, muscle memory. When you can fight, you can fight. You have instinct. You can operate. That's what he's operating off. Ngannou, instinct right now. See, Fury taking his time because he's saying, hey, he's a lot smarter than I thought. Might take a few rounds for Fury to wear him down. But Ngannou looks laser focused right now. I'm not gonna lie. And he has a plan. He's not giving he's not giving what he said in the face off. So far, so far. And Gano definitely Gano looking really good. Cool. with that left hand as Fury nearly crossed the threshold. And Gano has a game plan. The game plan is the body. He wants to set up the hook up top. That's what he's looking for. But the jab to the body. Deontay Wilder had success with that shot early on. Deontay Wilder, former heavyweight titleist who had a tremendous trilogy with Fury and, of course, scored four knockdowns in their classic fights. 
Yo, that that Wilder fight with Tyson was crazy. We might watch it one of these days. See, most times, oh, that was a tell right there. Tyson Fury threw a feint right there. You saw the right hand. Nothing kind of goes down. There's there. a right hand from Fury that comes over the top. That was a good bait. That That's good my bait. point. He baited that. Fury came with the left hand first, yeah. then the right hand after. Ngannou comes over with the right hand. Fury able to turn away. Jab off the hip from the six foot nine heavyweight champ. Ngannou's in his fight. Fury he just is. flicking out that jab at the moment. Ngannou's steady on his feet and sturdy, not giving ground. Good opening round good between round. Fury and Ngannou. Okay. But that's a... He's trying to take it away from him. He's baiting Honestly, him. He wants him to throw the right hand so he can counter it. He's still pulling each other out. See if Ngannou is willing to pull the trigger as he works his way to the inside. Ngannou and Fury gets up. out to the right. Yeah, let me lower this a little bit. Ngannou's reacting quicker than a lot of people expected, including myself. I know you guys want to hear the fight, but you're hearing his punches and yeah, the commentator. Yeah, quick first so. step when he decides to really deploy or shoot a shot. It's extremely intent. Look at so that. So it's like that hook. Yeah, as Fury was dipping in with that jab. And now a tie-up to get out okay, of the corner. Good Ooh, good right, right hand. On the inside, and there's blood as Tyson Fury swipes at his forehead. Did you see in that clinch? Ngannou uppercut it and keep right his distance, hand. shooting a short uppercut right up the middle on Tyson yep. Fury. And I'm not gonna lie, I like Tyson, King. but I was going for yes, Ngannou he here just because I felt right jab and right hook. his mentality was just you know a little bit more, right, um, Fury you know, like the underdog seeing. and things. So he switched I guess you always want to root for the underdog. Most people Ngannou's. root for the favorite. And Ngannou. Switched not like his mindset, himself. especially in that uh, face-off. Fury comes in with a power back left hand. was, you know, he's a always been blood, doubted. So. Up above the brow line, there's that right hook as he's he was trying to, to catch Ngannou coming in. So switching stances here in round number two. Both I respect Ngannou right. as well for coming into the, the boxing ring. A lot of mental battles right now for both men. Ooh, Ooh. Nearly a clash of heads on the inside. Ooh. Some rolling. Strong dudes, man. This is Fury pawing with hits. that southpaw jab. Tries to go to the body and last second ducks in and brings Ngano back to that neutral close. corner. Tess Ngano is extremely strong. Fury's going to have to let him wear down a bit. He's going to take his time. Uppercut it Box from the outside. Use his jab. Let him burn up some of that energy. That is one of the things that Fury opponents have struggled with through the years that perhaps Ngannou can stand up to. Fury loves to lean on his opponents, wear them down badly, take their legs away with that big frame and all that weight. He just threw a punch too close the distance right there and bodied up. Let your legs do the work by checking and pulling back. Touch four. Touch four. First, when he touches. Yeah, he got a sign open over there. Oh, good hit. That boy boxing, ain't gonna lie, he didn't even try to kick once. And that's the shot inside right there, the short uppercut on the inside by mm -hmm. Ngannou. On the you right. see the head control right there from Ngannou as well. Oh, huh. way, Beautiful work by him. Little little cuts to you. Okay. CompuBox has Fury with an 18 to 12 connect. Ngannou is handling himself extremely well at this point in this fight. The longer he's in his ring, He's dangerous, Tess. He's always dangerous. And that is really the difference in Good this luck. crossover fight compared to what we saw with McGregor and Mayweather. At any one moment, one punch can finish it when you're this big possessing this much power. No, I agree. He tries to come oh, in. Oh, my right hand, but goodness. This much power. What a left. He tries to come in with the right no hand, but way. instead follows it with the left. Yo, he tries to cut it with, with the right like, hand, but lie. instead might, follows it with the left. I might stumble a little bit. Making Fury pay for his mistakes. Fury has a bad habit of bagging out and dropping his hands. And perhaps a confidence builder for Francis Ngannou. I'm not lie. Right now, Francis is up, in my opinion. Ngannou is fighting like a man with a plan. He has a game plan. He has a strategy. 
his goal was to prove it, that he can box, that he's committed to this sport. Can't now switching stances again. Fury's looking for something, Tess. He's just looking. He can't get in his rhythm right now. There is that clinch tie-up that you referred to. Yes. yes. And tight there. And Ganu controlling the lead hand of Tyson Fury. Oh, he catches him off guard! Francis oh, Ngannou has down. just scored a knockdown against the heavyweight champ! Yeah. Anything can happen! It just did! Hey, seventh time in his career. Can you believe that? Yes, Why didn't they yeah. show it? I'm glad we saw it earlier, though. Well, what do we have here, folks? My, oh, my. <laughs> I running? told you. And Ganu has a plan, people. And he's executing his game plan. Can you believe yes. what you just saw? Yo. Can you see it, though? What's the zoom in about? Yo, man, about is the heart we gotta watch these Fury fights live for next undisputed time. status is holding his breath. Round number four. I test where Fury is usually. Uh, All right, Still got a lot of rounds to go. Do yeah, the live do. odds. Oh, a lot of grappling and stuff. Not gonna lie, man, this zoomed in stuff is pissing me off. It's skipping all the juicy stuff. Ooh. Right hand nearly puts him off balance. Yeah, yeah, he almost had him there. Yeah. Francis, Francis is fast, though, bro. He can't rush things. That's a big problem. He wants to land something big. Oh! Fury yeah. comes charging in. And then they wrap up on the inside. And this is what Fury was concerned about. Some of the awkwardness and the non-conforming of Nganu, but he does break away. He just gets physical in the inside, Tess. He knows nothing wrong. Interesting point. Well, you're, you're fighting behind the game plan. Then you get the knockdown. Then you start to get greedy. You stop thinking. You just want to land that big shot. That's what's happening right now to Agano. Love the Shut up. In the That's not Ogata. what's happening to him. Fury tried to go with the right boy is hand taking his time. The as well. And he's showing no respect for his fear. Okay, he's missing, he's missing. But again, the longer this fight goes, it favors Tyson Fury. He's the man used to going. There's an uppercut just from off Fury. The mark, just that off the mark. Uppercut. He was looking for him to lean, Tess. He didn't lean that time. Fury has a very powerful uppercut. He's shown it with a one-punch knockout against Dillian White at Wembley Stadium. See if he can draw him in here. Instead, it's the right hand behind the jab. Tries to come in with another as Francis Ngannou fires back. I'm impressed with the chin of Ngannou. Okay. Big shots right there landing from Tyson Fury. Nah, starting to lie. find his mark. Ngannou takes some hits, bro. Ngannou touches on the line. Pick up his feet. All right, guys. Ngannou I'm not going to lie. They're not willing to take risks right now. They don't want to. It just seems like they're going back This is what Ronaldo forward. saw in that last round. Oh, an elbow, elbow came in on the back Ooh, end of that. Dirty what? elbow, dirty elbow. Wow. Dirty elbow, Tyson. Back, but then God using the fight from the I gotta see the shots thrown and all this Remember, stuff, this is a 10 Oh, it's a 10 round. From Fury as Nganu fell forward. Okay, get up the cuts, get up the cuts, Tyson. I oh, don't know, man. Steady, determined, and willing to punch oh. as he turns Fury Ooh. here in round number Ooh. eight. Would you look at this? Short uppercut wow. on the inside from Ngannou. Now working behind the jab. Boy's still playing. He looking tired, though. That I'm not going to lie. Francis looking tired. His childhood, enduring hard labor in the sand mines. All the adversity overcome and his move to France and his climb up to the UFC Heavyweight Championship. But this was always the moment 
becoming a boxer fight. End of eight. It's a good fight. This is so a far, this is back and forth, bro. This is going to be one of the biggest upsets that the sport has ever seen. And another break. Test. This is the most patient that I've ever seen Tyson Fury. He's not as sharp yeah, as he went for He's not, he's not pushing up right as now. he said he yes. was, bro. We are Brawling. halfway through round number nine. Francis keeping this composure for sure, bro. Everybody doubted if Francis Ngannou could get to this point. No, Even I'm not if you were a didn't. backer and a believer, you thought it would be the brute force, the power. Not a distance fight, not boxing with the yourself. No, they're actually boxing, I'm not gonna lie. The tallest task you can have. Boy, a lot of, a lot of discipline debut. standing in the middle. He's not pushing up. He's waiting, taking the shots smart. Missing like everybody, but you know. Hey. Here at Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, chanting Francis, Francis. Ooh, okay. ooh, look at Francis. Tess, <laughs> who looks like the heavyweight champion right now in your eyes. True. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Tyson Fury is not impressing me. He hasn't landed anything. Where he bet on himself. He landed a dirty elbow. But He's I saw. hitting the jackpot tonight. Good jab right there from Tyson. Maybe Final he had more more landed hits. Of this historic heavyweight offense. Can Tyson Fury pull it out? Will Francis... A lot of posturing. Both men just respecting each other. This fight is shockingly about to go the distance. That's real. Francis Ngannou wow. said, I have a realistic goal to do my best to prove that I can box. I love it. He exceeded that goal by miles. Now well, he did his thing. I, according to what wow. I saw, what a performance. <laughs> Francis oh won, according to what I saw. How the judges may see this. Francis Ngannou, <laughs> MMA, competed. All of those came from veteran boxers. Yes, they were massive dogs. Ten rounds of boxing. We go to the scorecards. What a way to open Riyadh season here in the city of Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here are the judges' scorecards. Ed Garner scores it. 95-94 in Ghana. Okay, okay. Juan Palayo scores it. 96-93 for Fury. What? Alan Krebs scores it. 95-94. A one-point decision on the third card. Winner by split decision. Still undefeated from the United Kingdom. The WBC oh, heavyweight world champion. I'm not gonna lie, I, I messed with Tyson, bro, but I don't, I don't think that that was the right decision. I don't think that was the right decision. I'll be honest, you know. Uh, I don't think it was, at all. Guys, Tyson. Yo. Tyson literally didn't do much. That I saw. I mean, it could have been with the zoomed in stuff or whatnot, but that I saw. And Ganu was putting in some work. He was firm. He ain't dropped once. He got hit a couple dirty times. Point should have been taken off because of that. He held his ground. He went the distance. He knocked him out. I mean, and he knocked him down. I don't know. I, I think it was a robbery. I think it was a robbery. A legal robbery, boys. I could definitely see a rematch. And Tyson coming in with a couple more combos. <laughs> But this time, I don't think it was his day. I think he was too much in his head. I don't think he executed the way he planned on executing. And, yeah, man.
that's that, man. As always, guys, lend a helping hand. Two hands are better than one. Three is always going to be better than none. Stay safe out there. God bless every single last one of you guys. And I'm out of my boys. Take care. Tomorrow, we got like four videos ready for you guys. Today, we got these three. And enjoy them. We got a basketball one, a gold digger one. We got this one here. And that's all I was able to give to you guys. So, you know, sorry for the light day, but we will continue to keep posting that content. Something is better than nothing. And that's that, my boys. Take care. God bless every single last one of you guys. And I'm out of here, my boys. Peace.